the escape we need the most work on? The triangle escape. Triangle choke. All right, triangle choke. All right. So Brent is going to be here on the ground, and I'm going to tell you the first magical thing you should know about triangle is the length of the leg counts. If you're short, particularly if you're short and thick in the leg, it's really hard to get the triangle choke because you got to get around somebody else's shoulders and neck, okay? All right? Brent's gifted with like 400 inches of leg, okay? So he's, he's going to be able to do this easily. Now, remember that the first thing that we want to think about is I want to have the proper posture. That's going to keep me alive in most cases. But again, let's say he grabs some sleeves. Let's say that he pulls his knees under my arms and he kind of gets in position like he's going to make his, his choke. All right. So he's here and he's got me pulled out. What's the best escape for any kind of a submission? Don't get in it. Don't get in it. You see him push that leg. He goes to kick it over your head. You immediately posture up. That'll help you. Now, Brent's no fool. He's going to grab. Once he gets that foot going, he's going to yank and pull me forward. Now, notice I'm on my knees. If I've got this, he can't pull. Go and pull me with my hands on your belly. He pulls hard, right? Move forward towards you. See how he's not really going to move me. Now, he flares my arms. Now, he puts his foot. Watch. I got nothing to stop him. He yanks me. I mean, I'm on my knees. There's no real stopping that. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So if possible, I'm going to hold on to the belt. Oh, this is just defense. We get a defense. He grabs, he flares, and he's like, my magic sucks. So what does he do? He, does a, he can do a single break. He picks the arm that he wants. He does a single break. Now he holds. He goes and stuffs that leg over there. And he can still make it, but I can do something now because can't pull me forward as easily. He yanks me forward and throws that leg up. I, I want to start posturing here. All right. Let's say, for example, we make a few mistakes or he's just super good. Sometimes this happens. He flares. He kicks. He pulls. And now I'm here. The more you go down into this position, the worse it gets. So be thinking, posture up. Look, it's almost like you're praying. Look to God, right? God, don't let me get choked, right? <laughs> so, as long as he's in the eye formation, we look like an eye, we're in line, it's going to be hard for him to make this happen. Go ahead and try to make the choke without teeing up. All right. Easy. Now, if you look down my back, this position, he's kind of not going across. He should go right across both shoulders. It's not the end of the world. All he has to do is hook a leg and tee up a little bit. Now, does that look better? Yes. All right, not only is my head down, he's got the proper leg position. I'm not in the eye position. The next step is he wants to get this arm across the body. When he locks it, they lock it. That's about all you got before your eyeballs pop out. Somebody tell me what makes sense. I've shown you what makes it work. What makes sense for your initial defense? Posture. Posture, Posture up. What's the second step? Unlock the choke. Okay. Before we, before we unlock, let's hide that hand. If it's here, let's hide the hand. So posture up, move the hand around. I say grab the pocket. Right. By the way, this is the only sport in the world where you can grab somebody's back pocket and it's not weird. You grab somebody's back pocket in any other sport, they're going to wonder what you're doing. You might be stealing their wallet. You might be weird. Could be anything. But Brent's not going to mind that I do that because all he wants is this triangle choke. He's going to let me grab that pocket. Let me try to get this, this choke. From here, right? I've tried this maybe, but maybe he's just better. He flares. He gets the leg in. He kicks hard. He tees up, pulls me across, right? And now he's ready to choke. At this point, I'm in trouble. If I've gotten to this part, I might already be choked. But if not, posture, I move up. Go ahead and lock him in there. He's locked. Posture, move up. Get this around. I'm going to untee up him. Everybody see how I'm now in the eye position? Yes. All right, he's holding on pretty tight. Squeeze, squeeze harder. All right, still pretty good, but I can breathe. I'm going to try to post a little bit here. Make a little bit of space. Now, if I need to, I can put this hand down, but I don't want to let go of this pocket, so I'm going to use this hand, and I'm going to push to his head. Everybody see? Everybody see? Yes, sir. Lock back up. 
Get the pocket, I posture up, you get the pocket, you push to his head. It unlocks. I drop down, take side control. That is the basic one I learned in 1990s, long million years ago. I'm gonna show you a slight variation. If the guy's a monster and you're like, it ain't working. I put the left hand there, he ain't letting go. By the way, does everybody recognize that he's letting me go? Because he, once he locks it in, it's almost impossible to break this. It's not impossible, almost. He's actually letting me go. The thing I really want to do is, let's not get into it. Anyways, this is what you do if you are into it. Go ahead, sir. Bang, bang, grabs. All right, immediately, I push that across. Immediately, posture, step up, grab this. Right, and then I'm gonna start standing. Now, I, instead of using this hand, I'm gonna step over his face, and I'm gonna turn out. <laughs> then, I'm gonna take his back, okay? Mm -hmm. Not quite the Boston Crab, but if he'd have held, held on, I would have rolled him into the Boston Crab, and then I would have taken his back. Real close. Go, coach me through. All right, I'm gonna start super duper basic. Notice I've got live toes. I'm not flat footed. Right? I'm not on the tops of my feet. Live toes, wide base, right? I like to hold the belt. It's a lot harder for him to escape. Okay? He controls the wrist. He controls the body with his legs. Makes sense? He's got me. I've got him. We're both kind of stuck. Somebody has to do something. Somebody has to start moving. Right? He's gonna make wrist break. All right, now he's gonna control that with that hand and try not to let me grab that. You can push it to the ground if he wants. Okay, then he's gotta make a little bit of space, kick that foot through and turn hard. Now, he has to push this arm across, right? Then he's gotta start squeezing me to make the choke. Now, from this position, he's giving me space right here. I can feel it. All right, watch. Posture up. Grab the pocket. All right, I feel much better now. Now watch. Oh, my back. Oh. Make sense? Yes, sir. All right, come here, Caitlin, because you're a little bit more flexible than Caleb is. She goes to make triangle choke. All right, grabs that, she's up, and she's got me. Oh, that sucks already. <laughs> I didn't like that. I, her, I want to pull her up on my boat ramps. Your thighs are your boat ramps. She should still be trying to control this a little bit if you can. What I want to do is I want to get the pocket. Right? All right, now, at this point, I want to push to her face. Now, if she's uncomfortable, she'll bend her back so her, her butt will go down. Get your butt to the ground. There you go. She's uncomfortable. If she's not uncomfortable, she tries to hold it, I'm going to roll her onto her face. Anyways, once we get here, press, stand, my right foot up, get that to the ground. Oh my gosh. Move to side control. Okay? We tracking? Yes. All right. Here's the. Here are the mistakes I'm seeing on the triangle choke. All right. Try to control the. Try to control the hands. Right. If I can't break this and get the triangle choke because she keeps grabbing back on, I can wait. Right. In the street, I can just hit her. If I'm controlling this, I can control her back with this leg and I can kick her into the kidneys. Stop. Right? So there's things she's going to want to break. I can also unlock and she might think, ooh, I got to escape. Right? Once she lets go, I make a little bit of space. I like to put my knees on her hips and I flare her arms with my knees. Right? Now grab, grab my belt again. Make sense? 
sir. Now, I can always dink her with this knee if I want to, right? I can kick her in the face if I want to, or I can yank her in and just turn, right? And there she goes, she's posturing up, right? Now, here's the thing, see how high her butt is? Get your butt low, posture up. There you go, all right? Mine was tight. Do you see how she she put her butt down? Now, she's got me by the pocket. What does this hand do? Ah, ah, It's kind of a spine twisting painful thing, right? All right. So, if you do it properly, there is no space at all in your triangle choke. Did you notice that because I had my feet on her hips, it was easy for me to tee up when I kicked, I kicked and I yanked and I immediately got that, they were in that little hole, right? She got her butt up, which was bad. This is bad. This is what you want. Get the head up and then get them on your boat ramps. Knee towards the head. Posture up, okay? Go. So Caleb is here, he's gonna try to Make, he's gonna try to make triangle choke somehow. He's got his position pretty well. He's pretty much started. He's got his hands ready. He flares out. He gets his knees in there. His feet are on my waist. I'm thinking, oh crap. I'm either gonna get choked or arm locked or I'm gonna get triangle choke right here, right? So, he kicks and pulls. Now at this point, I gotta get up quick. I pull him onto my boat ramps, right? Now, he can still triangle choke me from here. Right? He's still trying, but I'm still posturing. I'm gonna grab this leg. All I need is a little bit of space. It's not an elbow to the groin, but that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Right, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna break. You see how I shucked it? You okay? I'm gonna grab, elbow's gonna go down. I'm gonna throw my head up. <clears throat> Once I've gotten here, then I get this arm out. She's got nothing. Okay? Yes, sir. Cool? Yes, sir. All right. Don't forget, you still got some magic if they escape your triangle choke. Caleb goes to make triangle choke. He sees that he's in position. He's going for it. He makes his move. And then I start posturing up. What does he got? He ah. He could do it from there. <laughs> All right. He could do it straight from there. Or he could also kick that foot over my head and he could do it from there. By the way, the first one worked really good. Could you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Look at my arm bar fell apart. You know. So the arm bar is still there. All right. We grab, right? Heels, flare, I kick. He starts to step me up, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm still controlling this, okay? Go ahead and tee up a little bit. Here's this arm bar, it's right there. He goes to pull that arm out, no problem. At this point, I can go back to the guard, right? And I can start the whole mess over again, okay? I make arm bar attempt here, all right? Here's the first arm bar, right? I get here. Right? He starts, get that arm free. He starts to pull this arm out. He left this behind. And now I'm a plata. Okay? Everybody got that? So there's still work to be done unless you make a clean escape and you get position. So don't just, oh, I broke it, and just stand there and leave, leave him room to maneuver. I think so. All right. We have five minutes left. We could fight. Um, 